Hi, everyone. I'm Kayla Wallace. And I'm Kevin McGarry. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> and we are so excited for everyone to see our new movie, My Grown Up Christmas List. That's part of Christmas in July. And? And we have some questions we that- We were given some questions. We were, that Hallmark sent our way. We're never given an interviewer, but we're given questions to ask each other. And it's kind of our MO. So we thought we'd kind of keep it going. That's right. Whether, yeah. So let's, we'll, we'll see, we just dive in. Let's dive in. Do I go first? No, I go first. Oh, okay. okay. In my grown up Christmas list, yeah. I play Taylor, who's a journalist who makes- I was saying Tyler the whole time. Oh, goodness, we're never going to get to Oh, no. So well, I- now I have to do the movie all over again. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Taylor, this is news to me. So I play Taylor. Yeah. Who's a journalist. Yeah. You play Luke. Yes. Malone. Luke Malone. I believe it's and Captain. Captain Luke Malone. Yeah. Use is like, you know, he worked hard for that. And on a trip home to Christmas, Luke and Taylor meet. Yes. Yes. Without giving too much away, can we share how our characters become a part of each other's lives? Well, I was going to say, who's who returned on a trip home for Christmas? So, only one of us returned home for Christmas. Yeah. Somebody was already there. Spreading a little Christmas cheer. And I think somebody it was a sad sack that got out got off the uh, bus and uh, ran into Santa Claus. And um, I think that's how we first, that's how, and then uh, there was a spark in Santa Claus's eye. What's the, what's the, what story? The um, night before Christmas. And all through the house. No, I know, but the, the, like the Santa part, like the the jolly, the, the rosy oh, cheeks, and the is it a twinkle in his eye? It was a twinkle in Santa's eye that caught Taylor, not Tyler, Taylor's eye, and uh, that's how they, that's how the, the spark started. That's how everything began. But it was just a small spark because the nice thing about this movie is the different thing about this movie is it's kind of like vignettes in a way. Like it's a long, long, long journey of how they kind of got together and what happens at the end. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what made it different in, in a way. And I mean, I'm really talking a lot on the first question, but in a way it kind of is like a Hallmark card. Like it's like little vignettes until you kind of see where their story ends up. Mm -hmm. So anyways, all right, now it's my <laughs> turn to ask a question. Uh, and Kayla. Okay, so Luke helps Taylor find her holiday spirit, that's what I just said, and they start to develop a special bond. Who do you think viewers will connect with? Who do you think viewers why? will connect with? That this? says why. Why? <laughs> no, 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 this is live, and this is what we have to do. Why, and mistakes happen, you know, you know that's, just, that's the beauty of live TV, live Facebook. Why do you think viewers will connect with this story? Kayla. Well, I think anybody who's had to deal with long distance will connect with the storyline. I think falling in love at Christmas time is something to relate to, too. You know, the fields are out, the lights are out. There is a lot of lights in this movie. There's, There's a lot of lights. lights. I like that background, out of focus lights that, that Hallmark kind of specializes in, in most of their shots. Um, that it's, there's always like twinkles in the background going on. Um, yeah, I, th I agree with you. I think that yeah. anybody, anybody that is, you know, distance is, is an, is an obstacle in, in, in their relationship or, or they had to figure out distance before they were able to come together, um, will connect and relate with this movie. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that was kind of like the, uh, you know, like the the, the, the the special um what you call it, like the, the reason why you kinda of were like, I like this movie. It was it was Yeah. Yeah. What hooked you, I what guess. What hooked me to this movie. Um was that the obstacle was, was so like big between the two of them. Like he had to be somewhere else and it was his job and it was what he did with his life and you know and they wanted to be together, but they've gotta mm -hmm. kinda figure that out. Anyways. Yes. Good answer. Your turn. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God, there's a thesaurus here. I forgot, just in case. Did I quit that here? Just in case you, you the lose The interview is about words. to get way better. Hold on, ask me something. Ask I mean, me ask, something? ask me a question. Okay, okay. 
All right. During the holidays, yeah. Taylor is focused on events that happened in the past, while Luke believes you can enjoy life if you are more present. What present. qualities do we like most about our characters? What qualities do I like most about Luke? I'm going to the source here. To okay, while out. you look, I'll, I will, um, I'll answer my okay. part of the question. What I like about Taylor is I love that she's a writer. I think that that's, that's something that our writer for the script and our director, we had a lot of fun working with because you could make the dialogue so poetic. Um, so I really like that about Taylor. I can relate to her that she has a sensitive side. I'm pretty sensitive, would you Are agree? You? Are you a sensitive person? <sighs> no, I know that, of course. That's a rhetorical yes. question. What are you finding in there? I don't know. I was thinking, I actually, you did say nothing. I don't know how to use the source. Um, uh, you, you did talk about uh, the director, and I think we should shout out to Andrew right yes. now, because he was fantastic to work with. Um, I've worked with him a few times already, um, and he just, he, he shot such a beautiful movie. You know, he, there, was a couple, there was a couple shots. I think some of them are out right now. I've, I've, I've seen one or two of them, like, where you're walking sadly at the beginning, right when you get off the bus, and, like, the streets are dark and the the snow is kind of yeah, falling. Some of the shots really are pretty. so beautiful. And yeah. it really helped that we filmed this at Christmas time when set deck kind of continued on into the real world. Like you felt like you kind of never left set because it was Christmas everywhere as yeah. per usual with these Hallmark movies. No, that's not like it, it. Usually you shoot these things in the summertime and you get them ready yeah. for Christmas. We shot, and we shot like Christmas getting ready for the summer. It, it, weird. It's a, it's a bit of a, a mind warp um but what was so cool is we shot in this small town that was already decorated for christmas um so you're right there was no escape basically like we were on set for three weeks straight yeah i don't think anybody knew we were shooting a movie because it was just like we were just dressed up you know yeah, already in santa gear and you like were every green and... tuesday in december you're dressed like santa claus yeah and yeah exactly you know um but what's also nice too is is the real snow that happens in this, and the, like the, the we shot again. This movie was shot in Ottawa, which is you know I I would argue the coldest, one of the coldest parts in the country. The coldest weather my here. body has ever experienced. Yeah, is Ottawa. Yeah, there, there's a scene in this thing where uh, just inside we are frozen. Ice. <laughs> it, yeah, it's. We felt it. Um, but at the same time, I would rather shoot, I think, a Christmas movie with, with, with the natural, you know, weather elements than, than be putting on a parka in, you know, in the summertime? Canadian 30 Celsius, American, that'd be 70s, yeah. 70 Fahrenheit, 90, I don't know, again, is it in the, in the thesaurus? It's, no. How do, do you, you, how do you use one of these things? Question for you. Yes. Do you remember what the question was? No, I've really just been talking a lot. <laughs> what was the question? What do you like most about Luke, your character? I think, well, I mean, I think this guy's got stuff figured out. I, I think he's such an, uh, uh, he gives Taylor what she needs. And, and I think mm -hmm. he's got such a strong point of view on what's important in life. And I think he has a great relationship with, with uh, like with his parents, with his best friend, with Taylor. Like his, he holds his, his most important relationships close to him. And you'll see in the movie how much they mean to him when he's kind of given in a, a situation where he's got a, you know, he, he's got two, two of his closest relationship people friends or more than friends that each need something at the same time and he's got to make a decision on what to do um so his his dedication to um not only his friends but but the most important people in his life is, is really admirable how's that i didn't really you I, did I brought it. it back you know i brought it back. okay next okay. question okay this is you there you go number four everything's highlighted that i have to say um our characters, our characters, face some obstacles while pursuing a long distance relationship. Yes. I said that. If we had to give Taylor and Luke any advice, if we had to give Taylor, yes. I, I can only assume it's us and not 
everyone watching. If we had to give Taylor and Luke any advice, what would it be? Pay for the best Wi-Fi. Because uh, yeah, because a lot of their relationship is spent over Zoom. So yeah, I would say like Taylor it's, it's ten extra dollars. That's right. Yeah, spend you know, the money on the Wi-Fi. Get a good Wi-Fi plan. <laughs> do they still do like my five? Remember? Oh I was yeah. In Canada, they did like a my five, and you got to like pick five friends. Yes, and, and then you'd have to like bump somebody off the list yeah. when somebody else more important came in. If you if you had five friends. To, on next question okay wait oh oh no. yeah no it's your turn yes yeah it is my turn okay so there are some heartwarming moments as our characters are getting to know each other yes from decorating a christmas tree to watching the snow fall in a pickup truck which which, which by the way let's say is borderline a monster truck <laughs> borderline a monster truck that the, yes. the suspension on that thing, and I had to drive it, and it was. I, I felt like I could have taken out a couple stage wa station wagons yeah. as I was going around the corner. It, it's basically like big. Uh, what, what's the? Did you ever watch the monster? Is it, anyway, there was a there was a big one called like Great Digger, and he like went over the. Anyways, I felt like it was a monster truck. But anyways, yes, I'm sorry. Go was. back. I'm a tall girl, and I needed assistance yeah. getting into the truck. Every time. Borderline monster truck. Okay. And I think the first monster truck that we're going to see in a Christmas movie for Hallmark. So, you know. Anyways. It was talk. a cool truck. Did it you feel cool, cool in it? Oh, yeah. I was so happy. Yeah. They were like, the transport was like, there's your car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, okay. okay. Without giving any spoilers away, yeah. do we have a favorite scene that we can't wait for the fans to see? I mean, there were a lot of really, like, sweet scenes mm -hmm. um and again i attribute that to like andrew andrew did a really great job the dance with me one is a really nice one did we do that early on too i did, uh yeah we did because we were filming in the house so yeah. actually that's the scene i'm most excited everybody for everybody to see the dancing scene we saw a little snippet of it in the trailer yeah so it was just a very um, sweet, intimate scene where Andrew really gave us the time to to work on it, and and we we spent a lot of time on that scene, um, you know, making sure that we were trying anything that we wanted, and it's a very important moment where the two characters come together in a certain way, and it's a very pivotal point in their relationship i won't give anything else away. well it could be a final it, goodbye too at the time I, oh is that a spoiler i said it could be okay it could anything anything possible. could be anything is possible anything is possible um yeah i like that one i like our meet you too and when you because when we first meet i'm in the santa claus outfit yeah and uh our producer um tim who's great like i got get up looking up too but i remember him telling andrew he's like kevin's got to look like really good Santa suit. Andrew's like, you want him to look like really good in, in the Santa suit? Like that's, I don't know, like just like sexy Santa. And, and you know, it, it it didn't play. It was supposed to be like, you know, it was, it was Santa Claus and then, you know, she doesn't know who he is and then he shows up later. Is it a year later? It goes Some year by year. Yeah. By. So, yeah. Yep. Year, every um, Christmas. Yeah. And uh, I like the the meet cute app. It's, sec yeah. it's technically our second one, but it's in the store. With also, your, this your guy in a Santa suit, you cannot stop the ho, ho, ho on and else. off camera. <laughs> I really became somebody else. I don't know. Yeah, you did. I think that, yeah, I just embodied Santa. Um, but I like the other one. I like when we come back and we do, we do like our first meet cute where I'm not in saggy red. Velvet. Oh, that, that's a image. <laughs> Saggy red velvet. Anyways, I'm not wearing that. And then I'm, I'm... Our second meet cute I really like. Me too. Yeah. I also made a really great joke on set that day. Do you remember that? Remember that? I remember like laughing and high five. It was a great joke. Anyway, I can't. It's fine. All right, moving on. Number six. Number six. Taylor and Luke partake in festive activities as the holiday approaches. We're not going to tell you what they are. You better tune in. 
Um, oh, never mind. We are going to play with there. I got to finish. We got to finish reading the question. Um, Taylor and Luke partake in festive activities as the holiday approaches, from hanging ornaments on the Christmas tree to making gift baskets for their community. So there are some of them, but there's more. So check it out. Um, what are some of our favorite Christmas traditions? Every year I make candy cane biscotti with my mom. That's a tradition for me. Um, and I eat them. And you eat them. Yeah. Um, you know, you've tried to get me to sit through. It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. And like to this day, Kayla still doesn't know how it ends. She just think he like, and she got like to the best part where he actually like goes back and sees what his life is like if he wasn't born. And that's just where she thinks it ends. Like she doesn't. It's a long movie. I get tired. It is a long movie, but it's like a classic and it's Jimmy Stewart and then. Maybe this year. Yeah, maybe. We'll make it. Why don't we just start at the end? I mean, when that's Claire shows up at the end, it's, it's the best part. But yeah, I watch that every year and I think it's great. And, and I try. When they're all coming in at the end, I can't even tell it. Okay? I mean, she doesn't know how it ends, but when they're all coming in at the end, they have the money and they put her in the hat. And it's the guy that stayed around for a small town. Hallmark should really do a type of It's a Wonderful Life movie. Start playing around with like time, what it's like when you're not around, dude. Anyway, I got some ideas. We'll talk later to Hallmark. Okay, number seven. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just on top of this, and I just want to make I'm, sure we're I'm, all firing at 100. I'm reading the whole question first okay. so that, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Touche. Okay. Viewers are excited to see us star in another Hallmark movie together. Are they? Are they? I don't know. I hope, I so. hope so. We are. I can see all the comments down there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can we share any fun behind the scenes stories? Lots of toe warmers and hand warmers and not enough heaters. It was cold. I'm trying I think to think you have of... to read that question again. I think it says any fun <laughs> behind the scenes. That's stories all that I remember from from behind did you the get scenes. Was during the movie? My frostbite. Yeah, which you didn't. I didn't. You didn't. I didn't. Everything was safe. It yeah. was just cold. Yeah, more or less. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I, I would always say and the reason I do these movies. I can't really speak for you, but a big part of why I do them is the people are always great. You know, mm -hmm. the crew is always fantastic. That everyone's just there to kind of make the the best feel good movie that they can, you know, with a little bit of their own flavor in it. Um, but, you know, going to set every day on a Hallmark thing, is, it's just so much fun. And mm -hmm. I mean, we joke around all the time. I can't really think of a specific, you know, other than that one. It was, it was a predator joke. It was an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Anyway, like I, I I'm good. Anyways, it was great. It was, it was really it funny. It was great. Um, so maybe that, that yes. for me. But I totally agree that everybody who does all of the behind the scenes work that viewers don't get to see, there's such a huge part of it. And this team in particular, we've worked with them before. Um, a lot of the same crew members, and they just make it so much fun. It's always fun to go to set yeah, yeah, with you. Great people. But, well, with you too. Oh, thanks. Pally. Pal. Oh, man. <laughs> people are going to be like, what is their relationship like? <laughs> um, yeah, it's always a joy. My turn. Your turn. Um, if we, I imagine you and I, Kayla, created our own Christmas list, what items would we include? I don't think I want an item. I think I want to travel. Well, now okay. you do. Now that you're, you've, you've seen half the world. I've want got to see the more bug. I, that's on my list. A big treat. Treep. <laughs> a big, let's start I don't that think again. that's in the thesaurus. <laughs> treat? That, Hold on. That was a mix between trip and grease. <laughs> <laughs> treat. I need a cheap. Uh, yeah, so, there it is. It's, um, it's a hybrid cross, half cast. Okay. Um, on my list is a trip to Greece. Well, 
This has been great for me, then. Thank <laughs> you. So you want a trip to Greece for Christmas. I'm so happy this question was included. And all these people are watching now to hold me accountable to make sure you get a trip to Greece for Christmas. Um, I would like some more money then for Christmas. <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe another movie or something. Um, yeah, that'd be nice. That would really help out with your Christmas wish. Great. You can come. Peace obviously. on Earth. Why didn't you say peace on Earth? Yes. For all That's the children. what I want. What's that Steve Martin bit when he's like, and for all the children to hold hands. And then he's like, if I had two wishes. And then he goes into like, oh, yeah, ones. the SNL. That's, the, that's, that's another Christmas that's a good tradition. Christmas tradition to watch that. The, Steve watching uh, SNL Christmas classics every year. Yeah. Okay. Since we know each other so well, to wrap up our Maybe. social life, I, I think, think I, I know, know you. you. Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't planned. Okay, let's take that again. Since we know each other so well, to wrap up our social live, we have a game of who's most likely to, featuring some activities inspired by Grown Up Christmas List and Christmas in July. Oh. Okay, so we point to whoever we think is is that is that thing okay. or person. Okay. Again, if we had a host, it'd be. Really great because one of us now is going to read it. I will read it. Maybe Hallmark can, you know, spring for a host uh, the next time we do any of these things. Be nice. All right. Are you ready to play Who's Most Likely To? Are you playing too or are you just. I'm ready? playing okay. too. All right. Okay. Ready? Yes. I'm Who's ready. most likely to make a Christmas list? Yeah. And Greece is right at the top we found. Okay, who's most likely? Wait, the movie or because that that makes it much more affordable. The place or the movie? Like just watch the movie. Yeah, you think? Yeah, I'd do that too. That's one of my okay. favorite movies. All right, that's way better. Then. Just watch Greece the musical. Okay. Okay. Jack, thank you. In Greece. Oh. Okay, right. who's most likely to decorate a tree? Is that a metronome? Yeah. <laughs> Keeping because time. Both of us. Uh, yeah, I think. I think you're right. We both like things hey, to be nice. I'll, I'm going to give him a little TikTok lesson. I'm on TikTok. You're not. I don't know. There's a lot TikTok of these who's most likely, and you just got to point to whoever you think is the thing. Yeah, but don't think of this. Aren't they like. <laughs> we can do that if you want. We add all this stuff later and we'll just point. <laughs> okay. Someone start a TikTok account for this guy. Uh, okay. Who is most likely to FaceTime on the phone? I'm really coming across as like a curmudgeon right now. I'm doing <laughs> nothing. Who is most likely to watch snowflakes fall? Well, that's just depressing. Like, I'm just. <laughs> Looking out a window, watching snowflakes. You grew up around more snow. That's so true. You're right. That's You're why right. I pointed to you. You're right. Who's most likely to sip on hot cocoa? You think me? We're both coffee drinkers. Yeah, I drink coffee. That's why I pointed to you. I can't remember the last time I had hot chocolate. Me either. Can we point to no? You. 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 Whoever's. Yeah. I'm trying to read all the names down. Hey, this one's easy. Who's most likely to eat Christmas cookies? Yeah, I wanted to point to you, but you're right. He eats them all. Yeah. And well, then you make more of them. Oh. It's a tradition. Like, and then I make more. And then he has to tell me to stop making them because they're just going to be I'm going to get diabetes. Done. Yeah, I know. I know. It's great. Okay. Who's most likely to curl up by the fire and watch Christmas movies? Both of us. Yeah. I'd say. Well, who is who's most likely to fall asleep halfway through the Christmas movie and never see it? And then somebody has to put the person to bed and put the fire out and finish watching the movie by themselves. Yeah. I'll point to myself for that one. No, what's you like the one movie? What's the, the one with the All I Want for Birch? Christmas? Yeah. All I want for Christmas is a trip to Greece. 
No, it's not the movie that you watch. Okay. Okay, and who's most likely to host a Christmas dinner? Uh, we're most likely to go to a Christmas dinner. Yeah. We like going to dinner. Yeah, we like and... people to make things for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did Thanksgiving dinner. That was just us. I don't know. Um, we go to we go to more dinners. We than, do. Than we host, we are dinner goers. We're great party guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was it. That's it. So who won? Is there a prize? We don't know because there's no host. Hallmark, Here's get a us prize. off the source. Hashtag host with the most Hallmark. Uh, no, what is it? I don't know. We need a, we need a host hashtag. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to find it in the thesaurus. Well, we've got this hashtag. Oh, there's hashtags? There's a hashtag. Okay. It's called My Grown Up Christmas List. And it's everybody can use it. Exactly. Everybody can use the hashtag when you tweet along with us on Saturday, July 9th. 9th at 8 or 7, 7 Central. Central, wherever you are. In the world. So it's like 8. I think this is important that we all know this because I'm sure there are tons of people that don't tune in because they don't yeah. understand what 8, 7 Central means. And I'm one of them. So 8 being Eastern, Eastern time. time. 7 being York. Central time. The middle, middle of middle America. America. Let me tell you that it's playing Saturday, July 9th at 8, 7 Central, which means 8 Eastern, 7 Central, and then again at 8 for our friends on the Pacific side. That's right. And when is it playing in Greece? When is it playing in Greece? I'd have to go there to find out. I guess we'll have to check it out. Yeah. We'll do we'll do the play version. So um, everybody please tune in yeah. on Hallmark Channel on Saturday, July 9th. Yeah. It's a super fun movie. We had a great time. We did. It's always fun working with you. Yeah, You're so too. good. And you this is your movie. Hang I'm on, just happy I get too. to like be in it and you know dance with you a little bit a little bit a little bit but thanks all for, for tuning in and uh listening to us this is just an average day we're tuning in and just watching an average day in our life all right. yeah all right bye-bye